What's going on, everybody? Uh, as usual, we're going to give everybody a few minutes to jump on, so just hang tight. Hey, Caden. Go upstairs in the, uh, in the frog and get me my... Um, that thing that goes around my neck to hold the phone. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, sorry, guys. Can can you guys hear me? Okay. So, looks like here in about half an hour or so, if that long. Um, not sure exactly when because the, the live feed's been up for a while and there's been some information that says it was supposed to be at 5.30. Some information says it's supposed to be at 6.30. Uh, just don't know. So we're, uh, we're kind of filling this out. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss it. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tank Bigsby is um, a pretty prominent name in college football as far as running backs goes. And he's narrowed his search down to four teams. So you're looking at um, Auburn, Georgia, LSU, and South Carolina for some reason. I don't know why. But um, I've got a suspicion that he's not going to pick Georgia. But we'll see. Um, obviously, if we pick him up, that would be one we'd like to have. Right now, the stream is currently muted. Um, but they are um, – they are – setting everything up so as you can see you know they've got the table there and whatnot so we're giving that a few minutes just to kind of see what happens um earlier in the stream i think he's gonna go to auburn jonathan what's going on vt dub uh zimmer uh jonathan Keynes, not just rocks david johnson what's going on guys perfect that's exactly what i needed sir thank you this keeps me this will keep hey can you hold up can you hold this a second because I want to see if I can get this thing to work on this. So um, that way I don't have to sit here and like kill myself trying to hold on to it. this silly thing. I might end up having to do it anyway. We'll see. Might need some redneck engineering. Yeah, pretty much. So hang on, guys. Trying to get a, trying to get the, the, the phone thing set up here so I don't have to hold this thing for half an hour. I think we may be good. That might work. Hold on. All right. There we go. Perfect. So the, uh, and I'll hold this up so you guys can see it from time to time, but I can't do too much because it'll ding your channel for it. Um, with the stable of running backs that we have at UGA, it's highly like, Hey, what's going on, James? What's up, Freddie G? Um, hey, Sam. How do I feel about Brenton Cox going to Florida? Um, I kind of felt like Brenton Cox had an attitude problem the whole time he was at UGA, so not really upset about him going to Florida. Um, he won't pick us. We'll get Evans. I think that's probably right, VT Dub. Hey, what's up, Alex? He's picking Auburn. I, I, think it's, I think he actually will pick LSU. I think LSU because um, Coach O has been – um, kind of on the uptrend versus where Gus Malzahn is kind of on a downtrend. So uh, I really think that you're going to see um, you're going to see Tanks Bigsby go to LSU. 247.com says sure he's going to Auburn. LSU depth chart is stacked though. That's true, but this guy being a caliber running back he is, I could definitely see him making a, a huge, becoming the prime time running back not this month, but I mean, not this year, but next year. Let me see if I can fix this. No. Apparently one of my children have helped me out with the blinds. He will fit with Florida and their dumpster fire. You talking about Brenton Cox? Yeah. Emory at LSU will be a third year and out RB. What's up, Nicholas? It says 6.30, but who knows with these things. I mean, it, it could be anywhere from, 
You know, he might go 10 minutes early. He might go 10 minutes late. He might go on time. I don't know if he's doing a video. I don't know if he's just putting on a hat. I don't know. These these guys nowadays seem to do all kind of different things. Uh, one of the recent commits to Auburn, like, walked through the stadium um, entrance onto the field and turned around and pointed up at the school board or whatever you want to call it. So it's kind of hard to tell how these guys are going to commit as far as their style and technique. Some guys do silent commits, so it's difficult to say. I will tell you, though, if Georgia can pick him up, fine. Not going to be upset that we pick him up, but I'm not personally excited about this guy. Uh, this guy also had a little bit of um, – I think there was some stigma – when he first came out is that Georgia didn't even offer this guy. I was like, everybody else offered this guy. And Georgia's like, mm, maybe. <laughs> so he got down the road a little ways and they finally gave him, um, they finally gave him an offer. So I, I think the Georgia hats just on the table to, I don't know, to say he got offered to Georgia, I guess. But if I was, if I was looking at this, um, Marshawn Lloyd, if we don't get Evans. I want Evans. I really want Evans. Bad. Um, that guy's unbelievable. Carolina Jackpot. What's up, buddy? Um, I honestly, I mean, watching the guy, I'm not really impressed. He reminds me a lot of Keith Marshall. And I know that sounds like nonsense. I get it. But if you watch his videos, he seems a little bit indecisive in the backfield. And I'm not saying that's anything that couldn't be coached out of him. But we're not hurting at the running back position. We want somebody who's going to be an immediate success. We've seen to been a we seem to have been able to cultivate that so far. If we don't get him, I'm not going to be devastated. Now, if we hadn't got George Pickens, I'd have been upset. If if we hadn't got Milton, I'd have been upset. Um, but but this guy, I don't want to say I'm okay with not getting him, but I'm kind of okay with not getting him. Not getting Lloyd, probably not. Uh, we'll just wait and see what happens though. We're also going to flip Elias Ricks, the nation's number two cornerback from LSU. I have not heard that, but I'll have to look into it. Yeah. My two boys, my oldest boy and my youngest boy playing video games, and they brought some stuff in here, and now the littlest one's getting fired up. Um, they've, panned, they've panned the camera back up. They was looking at just the bottom of the table, but they panned the camera back up. Now they're talking, um, but they still have the they still have the mics off. So, um, for those of you who watched the Kendall Milton video, um, go watch Dog Nation Daily for info on Elias Ricks. I'll look that up. Um, in the Kilton, uh, the Kendall Milton video, it really looked like his mom kind of gave it away, but you really had to be paying attention to catch it. She said he's he's all Georgia or something like that. Apparently, there were some other fans that seen that and picked it up. I didn't. I missed it. So, uh, haven't y'all realized Muschamp is an undercover ball? <laughs> sent him over to ruin Florida, then y'all are giving us an issue, so we sent him to Columbia. <laughs> Quit picking old Carolina, man. They got a tough year. Going to the barn, Evans is Evans to the good guys. Yeah, I think I think that's absolutely the case. I'm pretty sure he's going to Auburn. If he doesn't go to Auburn, I'll be stunned. Um, but again, this is not a guy that I'm really hyped up to get. I, I'm I'm okay if we get him. I'm okay if we don't get him. It's not like in the days of Mark Rick where you had a you fell apart if you didn't get a player you were trying to get. It was just devastating to your roster. So it's nice to have a team like that. Still waiting. It looks like his dad is over here talking to him. Um, I don't really see anything that's indicating that they're going to, you know, that they're ready to make a, a thing right now. So we probably got another 15 or 20 minutes. I wanted to get this live feed up a little sooner. The the one that I tried to do for Kendall Milton really was, um, it was, it was kind of a haphazard throwing stuff together, trying to get everything going at the same time. Looks like they're getting him mic'd up now. So, um, Guy looks pretty patient. I like the backdrop. Um, I think they did pretty good to get their school stuff lined up. 24-7 as UGA, even with Bama at 20% for Evans. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure with some of the other stuff I've heard, Evans is coming to Georgia. And if you watch Dog Nation, um, they've got some pretty good insiders there that they kind of listen 
to what's going on and they get almost some background knowledge that you can't just get you know google and stuff and they're able to uh usually give you a pretty accurate representation um i'm still waiting for them to turn a the mic on here they haven't turned a the mic on oh now they're turning them on and then they turned it back off <laughs> Uh, that's, that's me quoting Uncle Lou. Good morning. Uncle Lou's on vacation, man. I'm surprised he's even in the stream, but I appreciate you being here, Lou. He's telling his aunt to get on the stage. Tennessee losing to Missouri 50 to 17 last year in 2017. Man. They're talking. They just turned the mics back off. So we'll see what's, we'll see what's happening. Hey, if you guys see Gus Miles and I walk out here on the stage, I'm going to fall out. If, if Beaker is there. <laughs> oh, man. You know, right now, Auburn is dying for this guy because anytime Auburn does not have a running back, they suck. Excited for the new Tool album? I know Lou is, and so am I. Tool's okay to me. I'm not a giant Tool fan. Um, their music's good, but... Um, if I had to pick a band to listen to for the rest of my life, I don't even know who I'd pick. But you're talking back and forth. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be South Carolina because that hat is all the way, like way out of his reach down here. <laughs> and George and Auburn is right in front of him. So um, with the way, with the way that he kind of, he kind of got, in a way, dissed by Georgia. I wouldn't be surprised if he does the old put Georgia, and, and with the hate between Georgia and Auburn, to put the Georgia hat on and then take it off and put on Auburn. It wouldn't surprise me to see him do that. Ever heard of Job Langston? I think I have heard of him, but I'm not real familiar with it. Milton is the Milton is in Rick's ear about UGA. I bet he is. Um, I think he'll be visiting for the Notre Dame game. Uh, and that would be great. I love having those recruits come to those big games, especially when we do well or we maybe not, maybe don't run the score up, but, you know, show that we definitely have some talent and some coaching ability. It's, it's nice to be able to get out on a, on a big stage and perform well. Still waiting. Looks like it's going to be a while, but we'll get there. So how's, uh, how's vacation going there, Uncle Lou? Enjoying the sand, sir. Now, for those of you who don't know, Tank Biz Bigsby is from um, is from Lagrange, Georgia. So, Lagrange, Georgia, is southwest of Atlanta, probably a 70, 80 miles, I would guess. So, it's probably a good two-hour drive or more for him to go from where he's at to Athens. And I actually think he's closer to um, Auburn's uh, university than he is to Georgia, even though he is he lives in Georgia. Um, for those of you who don't know, the, the rivalry between Georgia and Auburn is pretty feisty. So um, it would not surprise me if he, uh, that's where Bubba Sparks is from. Uh, it would not surprise me if he, if he, does, if he does something to troll Georgia. It, it wouldn't surprise me one bit. What's going on, Tram Dog? Just kind of, kind of us all hanging out here together, waiting on this commit. I could have put it on the. I, I could have expanded the screen for you guys. I guess I should have done that a while ago. You talking? What's he talking about now? I didn't, I didn't realize Venus Williams was going to be at his commitment video. Didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he goes to Auburn. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised. So the, I don't feel like they've done a very good job. Or I really don't feel like they do a very good job of getting the information out on these commitment videos and how to view them and how to watch them and everything. Um, Kendall Milton's video was on Dog Nation, but for me, it was difficult to find another stream that was reliable. This one was actually posted through his Twitter feed, and and they actually 
wrote the wrong information in on the Twitter feed, it said, never know, Pickens was a last minute flip. That's true. Um, lost my train of thought. <laughs> so anyway, in his Twitter feed, it had where it said uh, you could watch it on 11 Live. And so I started looking all over the place for 11 Live, can't find anything. And I'm like, man, this doesn't make any sense. Why would this guy put this on here? Come to find out it's a, it's 11 Alive. So I was like, yeah. if you're going to put out there that you're going to make a commitment video, awesome. We don't mind watching. We appreciate it. But at least put the right information out so we can watch it. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's a bit of a miss. Mary and Steve, what's going on, Mary? That's not good if she is there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who that is. That might be a sister or something. Auburn, come come get our Georgia boys and we will still dominate them. Most likely. Man, Tiger, it was, it was uh, the heat index here in Georgia today was 99. So I, I feel your pain, man. People, people don't think it gets hot in the Midwest and in the Northeast, but it does. It actually is hotter than what you would realize. It must be pretty hot in this gym. This this dude, yeah, 95 in Athens. This guy has wiped his head about 500 times. Here he goes again. These coaches are doing all they can to get some limelight, man. It's like, yeah, man, I was a guy that coached up Tank Bigsby. You know who Tank Bigsby is, right? <laughs> I don't know. This, this this right here, I need to come visit y'all next time I come to Athens, Mary. This this is his, see this guy right here? This is his college uh, coaching application. Let's just get right to it, man. Obviously a big day for you. Athens schools across the country. Get that announcement here in a second. First of all, though, Coach Wiggins, do you want to say a few words? I don't know how well you guys can hear it, but... First of all, I'd like to congratulate Tank and his family on this day. Uh, there's been a lot of hard work that went into uh, getting to this point uh, to make a commitment. And uh, again, just want to say congratulations. Uh, next, I'd like to say congratulations uh, to our football team. Uh, this, over the last few weeks, Tank and I have had lots of conversations about this day. And Tank has said... Uh, the word teammate and, and how much you guys mean to him. Uh, uh, the coach is just talking him up right now. At, at this point, saying anything about it doesn't really matter. Tank is CB to cornerback uh, to Auburn, right? No, running back. He's probably going to be a running back. Oops. Have you seen Kendall Milton's post about him and Elias Ricks with the G in the background? No, I haven't seen that, but I heard about it. Thanks, Coach. Uh, we're down now. Tank, it's your moment. All, All right. Georgia, LSU, Let's see what he does. South Carolina. A lot of visits, a lot of thought, a lot of relationships. It's now your turn. All right, here we go. Uh, I want to start off by thanking my family and my teammates and uh, my coaches. He's going to talk uh, for a minute. Supporting me. And, uh, you know, just being with me, being by my side. And I'm going to take my... Oh, uh, crystal ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be going to Auburn University. Yeah, you're going to Auburn. <laughs> well, good for him. Look forward to beating him. I don't know. I think that's a good fit for Auburn. I'm not mad we lost the guy. I kind of figured it was going to happen anyway. I wish the best to the kid, except for when he plays us. So... This is your first time in the stream. Do me a favor, guys. Hit like, subscribe, thumbs up, share. I make college video video. I make college videos all the time. I do Saturday live streams. I do a lot of the commitment videos. So everyone cross your legs. Um, not really interested in any reason why I didn't want to pick Georgia. Didn't want to pick Georgia. Doesn't matter. Didn't pick Georgia, so that's fine. Um, there's a bigger fish in the pond for us that we're after. So to me, it's just a scholarship that we don't have to waste. Brent Cox gave us an extra scholarship, so I'm really happy about that, too. If you guys have anything uh, you want to throw in the stream, go ahead and do it. So, <laughs> kid, kid, man. You something else, man. Uh, Bryant Denny says, I'll be ready to beat him at Auburn. Yep. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'm glad I did the stream early because if you did it at 630, I'd have missed it. So, it is what it is. 
My second 26 days doing excellent, sir. Doing excellent. I think the coaches tell him we got Evans, so he went to Auburn. I think if he went, I think if he would have went to Georgia, he'd have struggled to get on the starting roster. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, watching his videos, the guy's definitely talented, but he seems to have a lot of indecision. Reminded me a lot of Keith Marshall. Um, looked really good in high school. Keith Marshall, I believe, was a five-star recruit. Came to UGA, couldn't seem to uh, outperform the other running backs. Todd Gurley took the job away from him, never looked back. So, kind of the same thing. DSGB says Brent Cox is a punk. <laughs> Opinions vary. Milton and Evans will dominate the SEC. Absolutely. Uh, number one running backs back to back years. Come on in. Yep. So, Georgia's doing just fine. Um, if I was that kid, I wouldn't want to have to start behind a number one running back. It'd just be too hard. Uh, I'd rather go to a place that doesn't have anybody and I can establish myself so I can understand why he went there. Uh, Auburn, he's, he's going to be Auburn all the way. So, you know, best of luck to him. Hats off to him. Um, don't forget to uh, to uh, meet Georgia on the field. And uh, I hope you remember that you had an opportunity to pick Georgia once they beat you. So, headed to Gainesville, Georgia next week for vacation. Well, hit me up when you're in town, Tiger Raven. Hit me a post or something, buddy. Told you. Yes, you did. Hey, Sarah, she made it on. Uh, in case you missed it, Tanks, uh, Tanks Bigsby. I keep saying Tanks. Tank Bigsby goes to uh, Auburn. He, uh, he picked Auburn as a school of choice. Uh, yeah, he'll probably be the number one running back there for two or three years. Uh, it's not a, it's not a big surprise that he went there. Nor is it a, a hard decision for him. I mean, it's just George is loaded at the running back position, having to fight your way through that field unless you're in a truly an elite top tier, you know, top one, two, or three in the nation running back is probably not a wise choice anyway. George is off to find more and better guys. So, hats off to Georgia. Hats off to that young man. Wishing best of luck, and hopefully uh, we'll see him on the field soon. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. God bless. Go dogs.